Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creation. Today I'm working on a layout featuring mixed media and I started out with some Distress Oxide ink in Cracked Pistachio, Twisted Citron, and Salty Ocean. And I laid those down on my mat there. Um, I basically just pressed them down and made a line and squirted it with some water and dipped my paper into it. Um, I didn't show a lot of the mixed media process. I didn't have everything set up at the time to uh, show that. So um, if that's something you're interested in seeing, drop me a note in the comments below and I'll go ahead and try and do that on another video. Um, actually, I made this piece thinking I was going to cut it up with, with some punches and use it as embellishments, but then I liked it so well that I went ahead and decided to use it on my layout. Um, so I used the stencil that was from the um, crafters I think it's from the Crafter's Companion, or, oh, I'm sorry, it is from, hmm, it's designed by Rhonda Palazzari, so, um, and I think it's from the Crafter's Workshop. Anyway, um, I really like the way it looked, it looked kind of like the top of parasols or sunbursts, and I ended up using some Bow Bunny uh, glitter paste and some of uh, Vicky Booten's iridescent medium um, over the stencil. So that's what gave it that shimmer and it's really super pretty and it matched my photo perfectly. Um, my daughter's got um, some little flowers in her hair and then she's got the blue jacket on so um, I thought it worked perfectly. And it's going to make it so this layout is uh, pretty pretty um, lean on embellishments because it doesn't doesn't really need a whole lot it's got so much going on already and I just popped that photo up onto some craft foam from Walmart and it's uh, sticky on one side and the other side I just used some of the white glue from Tonic Studios and I am using stickers from a really old Amy Tangerine paper pad um, the, the stickers match perf uh, perfectly and so um, I'm not exactly sure. I think I found them when I was going through looking for a paper to back the entire layout on. And um, so that background turquoise paper is also from that collection. And um, I, I did get that paper, so I have some extra to use down the road. And I thought it was just perfect to go ahead and use these embellishments. It kept things simple. I want to start using up more and more of the stuff that's in my stash. One thing I really like about using the mixed media is that it um, it really adds so much in interest and depth to the page that you really don't need a lot of embellishment. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's the vi uh, vibrant and bright colors. Um, it's just gorgeous. So to adhere my um, photograph down, I am using Let's see, that is crystal lacquer in, in my fine line bottle. And um, I find that when you're using mixed media and stuff that you've um, put through stencils, maybe you definitely need that liquid glue. The adhesive in the ATG gun just doesn't hold to the, the stenciled areas very well at all. So I just took one of my Stampin' Up! punches and set it on top of the photograph to hold it down while I was getting a few things out. You can see I've pulled some embellishments and stuck them to the top of that punch just so I remember to use them and I'm just pretty much sticking with the colors that are in the background so the greens the the aqua or turquoise color and the yellows um, and I really like how fast this uh, this came together once the mixed media was done I don't really do the mixed media that often because it takes so much time but I'm um, thinking I might need to just start doing some pieces like that so that they're done ahead of time. And then when I go to scrapbook, I can just pull the pieces out that I want to use. Um, so it sounds like I have a little mixed media play date in my future if I'm going to do that. Um, this was part of a challenge that we did at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And it was a mixed media challenge. And that was for their May um, online crop. And the idea was to use something um, and then punch it out and use it on your page. But as you can see, 
I didn't punch it out. I went ahead and used it as my page. So I did end up creating two other pieces of mixed media that I will go ahead and cut out with my punches and um, use on a page. So all in all, the challenge was done, but I got an added bonus of um, using this piece as well. So this picture is my daughter at a scouting event. They were the Boy Scouts. It was actually Cub Scouts, which is a family, um, pretty much for families to attend. They were doing some water rockets and kite flying and whatnot. So um, that is where we were at. And I just somehow caught this photograph of her. And this is a period of time that she's not really thrilled with. She had a um, dental appliance that she would wear in her mouth. It's called a, a bionator. And most of the pictures from this time frame, she's not really fond of. But this one, um, I actually really like this photograph. I don't think she'll mind it so much either. Um, it doesn't show that the bionator so much. She does have the wire across the front of her teeth, but um, otherwise it's not really super visible. So <laughs> that's why I went ahead and decided to use this, um, this photograph. So those uh, little puffy stickers there are from Freckled Fawn and I, I absolutely love those. I think the font is created by Jen Scow, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, they go together so well. When you look at them on the sticker sheet, it, you think, well, geez, some of them are uppercase, some of them are lowercase. How are they all going to fit together? Some are large and some are small, but it, they just work perfect. So I just went ahead and used those, and I was able to scrunch them all together, and it says, my girl. And I'm just going to tell a little story about what a sweetheart she is at this age. We're just about to the end of the video, so if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe as well, and uh, stick around for the close-ups. I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.